<laughs> oh, thread the needle. <laughs> That's so insane. That is a good, big success. Yeah. A lot smoother than I had imagined. I think it's a lot smoother than everyone imagined, <laughs> yeah. including myself. Hi everybody, back here on the Helical Sculpture. Finally, finally, this week is the week. Today's goal is to get the tube welded to the plate, which in and of itself is a, is a reasonable challenge. Before that, I'm gonna weld in a cross piece in the top, which would in what will be the top of the tube, top of the helix, onto which a collar will be mounted, which will support the rebar tree that's gonna come out the top of this. And this will also serve as a lifting point when we go to set the thing. So I'm gonna use some two inch square tubing, make a cross in the top of the cylinder, weld that all up, make a pick point, potentially fabricate the collar, then we'll be ready to set it upright because once I set it up and weld it to the plate, the top will obviously be 12 feet in the air. So we're gonna ease into this thing. I'm gonna slowly transition my mind fully into this project so I can better understand how I'm gonna build it. Still working through the design, but I think, I mean, it is art what I'm building. It's not a scientific thing other than the fact that it represents DNA, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look good and, and be symmetrical and be pleasing to the eye. So yeah, let's go. All right, so here's where we're at. As Wyatt put it, I've made a pizza, but a very, a very precise pizza. So this pizza has four lines technically, or eight spokes, however you want to look at it. And they're all 45 degrees apart, which means there are eight points around this 30 inch circle that are the same degree apart in uh, radians or whatever. And there's a center point. This effectively should fit inside uh, the casing. Perfectly. And it's gonna help me, the way that I figured out the mass sections on top of each other at given spacings and wrapping but a line from uh, this is going to allow me to blah 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 so yeah time to cut some two inch make us make a cross and then weld it into the tube and that'll be step one done Okay, so I got everything jigged up here on the table. Uh, looks more complicated than it is. I'm really just making a cross. Making a cross there. That will go in that pipe. I'm sure by now you can envision what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna weld this up, and then we're gonna test fit it. And if it doesn't fit, we'll grind it until it does fit, and then we'll uh, weld it up. The next thing I need to tackle is this collar that's gonna go on top of this cross. This is a concept drawing that I got from Black Dog. It's not really based much in reality, it's just an idea. But essentially all the rebar tree limbs are gonna be welded to the sides of this collar. Because that's gonna result in a giant umbrella of rebar, uh, this is gonna split in half. But basically what I'm gonna make is, well, a collar uh, out of the thickest, heaviest material that I can so that uh, this works the way intended. But I believe there's a lot in this drawing that's up for interpretation. He's patiently waiting. Go ahead. So I found this tote in my shop labeled Big Hunks of Metal. In here, there's a really big section of pipe that I think I'm gonna be able to use. Uh, and this is all stuff from the machine shop, you know, back in the day, so. I'm gonna get this down with the forklift, we'll have a rummage through, and I pick out the part that I think is gonna work. I can see why I labeled this one big hunks of metal. 
So in here, what I think we'll be able to use is this. As long as that's not cast, that's like a eight inch pipe, half inch wall. So that will be perfect. Time to see if it's cast. Don't think so. That looks like steel to me. It's gonna be some design here, but I'm gonna start by cutting this down to six inches and then splitting it in, splitting it in half somehow. So uh, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll, uh, we'll think about the rest of it. One thing at a time. So I'm actually gonna try to make a cut on this big uh, Johnson bandsaw here. I think it's gonna work. So I think we're just gonna take a stab at it and if it's a little off, it doesn't really matter. I'm square this up and give it a shot. There's nothing. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Every time I think about replacing this old Johnson saw, it does something like that. Look at that cut. Let's go see how square it is. A longer square. All right. Wow. Look at that Johnson, man. Wow. So this is gonna go here. All right. So to split this in half, I'm gonna do a few things. I'm gonna start by drawing a line this way. Got my line. We line this up to that. Make a mark there and a mark there. Then we do this and a mark there. So now, for what it's worth, I have cut marks that are directly in the middle of the pipe. So now I can cut here and I cut here and I know that I have two perfect halves of one cylinder. Now this, uh, I think I'm gonna do with uh, plasma. Well, there we go. We have cut a pipe in half. Look at that cut. I have not touched it up at all. There's almost zero dross. And uh, bless you. So I am gonna clean it up a bit. And then what we need to do is make two flanges like this, one on each pipe, so that we can then bolt these back together. I, I, have, I don't know if but right by now I've explained in complete detail what this is for, but it's not gonna make a whole lot of sense until we get there. But basically, I need to make all the rebar for the tree top will be welded to this. But because it's gonna be like a 12 foot diameter or something from end to end on the rebar, we need to be able to split that whole contraption in half so that we can transport it and then reassemble it in the field. This is gonna sit over this. That. So we can have a lifting point on this actual cross brace right here. So sounds nice in theory. Let's see how we make it happen. All right. So if you look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a flange. So basically, what we need to build now this part. So there'll be two of these, just like that. That will allow us to bolt the two halves together. So I'm just gonna draw up some simple, some simple parts that I'll cut out of probably quarter inch plate. And then once this is bolted together, we'll have to figure out how to attach it to there. But I have an idea on that. Hi everybody, welcome back. Next day on the sculpture, and I gotta keep working on this collar situation. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut pie shapes that go in here, but I'm just gonna take some measurements and go from there.
Okay, I've got the chest mount. Give you guys a close-up view. So I hope you hopefully that works out. I'm gonna preheat this because it's really thick. Bonkers right on time. <laughs> AKA always late. <laughs> <laughs> late in a world where there's no real set time. It's just funny. Anytime before now is early. Any anytime on time is late. <laughs> yep. What a world of rules you live in. Rules are made up. Yeah, except for work. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of need the points. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's hot. That's hot. It's hot. Hey, Wyatt, it's hot. In case you were curious. All right, so here's where we're at. Got the flanges welded on. And now I'm gonna bolt them together temporarily and then weld these guys on here. I think you see where this is going. There will be four of these welded in here. And that's how we'll bolt this guy to there. I think it'll work. Only one way to find out. <laughs> it's funny, at this point in the project, I've cut this in half and then I've bolted it back together. All right, so here's what we've got. We've got an interesting little setup here. Got our top collar with our mounting flanges. We got our cross piece with our corresponding flange section. So this gets welded into there. That bolts onto that. Now we got to do a lifting point here. And then in this, we got to make a lifting point for this contraption. So the lifting point for this is probably going to have to bolt on as well. Uh, because if I welded a hoop over this, then obviously it undoes all the work I did by making them able to come apart. I think now I can weld this cross piece into the pipe. So I'm gonna start getting set up for that. Perfect, but
sweet so far. <laughs> This should work. You got any more clearance up there? A little bit. Hey! Well, that was only mildly terrifying. <laughs> wow! That's a giant thing. That's big. Yeah, so now to put it on there, I'll just pick it up from the bottom. But. I think you probably will have like six inches. Nope. Uh, an inch. One. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two. Let me know when I'm above the plate. Okay. Uh, almost. Yeah. I mean, it's like a game of millimeters. I think you're above it enough, though. Yep, yep. Yeah, perfect. She blows. That is a good, <laughs> big success. Yeah, a lot smoother than I had imagined. I think it's a lot smoother than everyone imagined, <laughs> yeah. including myself. Oh, we got six inches of space. Hey. Pick it straight up, pull the dunnage out, and then I can position it. Perfect. Hypothetical. Now here's what you do. I'll sit on the forks. Okay. You raise me to the ceiling, and I'll let you know when I'm in, when you're okay. in. Okay. You feel cool with that? No. <laughs> <laughs> What you could do, reposition the GoPro. And watch it on my phone? Mm hmm That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready? Oh, that is awesome. There's the view, so I'm gonna bring the fork in from that side and I'll be able okay. to see it. That'll be really That's fun. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this must be what they feel like when they like trying to land the rover on Mars. Yeah, dude. There it is. Look. Oh, thread the needle. <laughs> That's so insane. This is the best thing I've ever done with a camera. Yeah. Dude, not only is it like weird, but it's practical. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, and she's off the ground. Right there. It's sw it's swinging a little bit, so. Yeah, it looks pretty close to this one. Honestly, if I like held it while you dropped yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're good. I mean, that's like millimeters off the money. Perfect. That should not have worked. No, but it flawlessly. That's awesome. Well, part two is officially called the erection. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a, it's an accurate verbiage. Yep, yeah, right. They use it in building construction all the time. Exactly. Get your mind out of the gutter. Yeah, this is on you. Yeah. <laughs> it's your fault we're like this. Yeah. <laughs> Next time on Lift Dark Builds, we start carving this big old pipe into a piece of DNA.